Hello everyone and welcome to the new episode of Opening the Bean podcast series. Today we are here with Lauren Muro Bennett. Hi Lauren. Hi. Nice having you here. So Lauren is an engagement officer for the charity Morecambe Bay Partnership and panelist at the panel Ocean Plastics Policy Research and Practice at the Opening the Bean 3 conference. So, Lauren, can you tell us anything about your experience with plastic waste and the natural environment? Yes, of course. So, um, I was at uni about 10 years ago now, and um, I studied philosophy and psychology, but one of the modules within my degree was environmental ethics. And I think that that sparked an interest within me, um, as well as some friends that were really interested in the environment. Um, so that kind of got the cogs turning about what I can do to support the environment um, on an academic level. And personally, I also spend a lot of time in the outdoors. So I spend a lot of time in nature, kind of whether it's running or swimming. And so I feel a big connection to our environment. And and I've always kind of been, yeah, an advocate for that. And so I think in terms of litter picking and, and the things I do for the charity now, um, it was in lockdown that we started seeing a lot more visible litter around and so I started I organized some voluntary litter picks um in my local area um just to do to do a little bit and then I ended up volunteering for an organization called Trash Free Trails um which do some great work and then that kind of um led me into the charity Mokome partnership where I got the role as beach care officer initially um, and so I would organize beach cleans and help support community groups around the bay um, with their litter picking efforts um, and try and support the community in that way. Uh, this sounds fascinating and this is such an important work that you're doing. So um, would you like to tell us a little bit more what the Morecambe Bay Partnership is doing? Yeah, of course. So uh, Morecambe Bay Partnership, we, we are a place a place based charity um, and we try and connect people to um, the bay in many different ways. And um, so in terms of the plastic pollution and the environment, uh, a lot of our efforts around uh, beach cleaning so that's the tangible the tangible ways that we do it so we, we connect with community groups around the bay and individuals and um, help support them with litter picking so we help supply equipment we join them we organize litter picks we get people involved and um, volunteers from around the bay signpost people where their local litter pick is and so that's a really really good tangible way that we support the bay in trying to remove litter and we've supported that for about 17 years now um, and in the last two and a half years we've collected over 30 tonnes of litter which is quite a lot of litter. Now obviously that's that's really good that we've collected all that but then that doesn't solve the problem that the litter's still there so I think another area of our work is really which is really just as important as collecting the litter is about connecting people to the place and so hopefully we'll reduce that litter in the, the litter available that's around in the future and um, so the other ways that we are less tangible ways is um how we we go into schools and do workshops with schools and um get schools doing beach cleans and then you can see the young people kind of getting really interested and, and it's practical action for them to support the environment um, and just involving within campaigns so plastic free july and no and not using a coffee cup in june so like little things like that to try and connect people and, and making sure there's practical action um there uh, that's absolutely great thank you very much for sharing that um with us so um just by curiosity um where do you think most of plastic pollution comes from in the morecambe bay area um I think it's from a number of different areas so the the sewage is one so kind of in the sewage work so we have a lot of um toiletry um related litter on our beaches so whether that's you know sanitary products or um cotton buds we still find quite a lot of cotton buds um 
and things like that. But there's definitely also the the problem of fishing gear, so from the sea, um, which is coming onto the beaches. So we get a lot of yeah discarded fishing gear, and then also there is some discarded waste, generally like balloons that have found themselves um on the beaches and and like disposable disposable pollution, I guess. Um, so the yeah, a few different things that are contributing to it. Yeah, so sewage and fishing gear seems to be quite a, a constant yeah. when it comes yeah. to marine plastic pollution. Um, I wonder if with the touristic uh, season approaching us, we will see a, a sore in uh, like disposable yeah. plastic and plastic packaging on our uh, beaches. So uh, thank you very much. So um, to conclude, do you have a message for anyone interested in approaching volunteer work or wanting to engage with the Morecambe Bay Partnership Charity? Yeah, so we are always really happy to have new volunteers get involved. Uh, we have a website which is morecambay.org.uk and you can sign up to be a volunteer there and that you know that could be joining our beach cleans, joining the beach cleans that already that we have or the range of other things that we do relating to heritage and um, wildlife and and other cool things um so yeah they can sign up there thank you very much lauren and we really look forward to chat with you at the panel during the opening the b3 conference on june 16th i'm looking forward see to you later thank you, thank you. bye